Hi there, welcome to my crowded Italian kitchen. This is Kathleen, and tonight I plan on making spaghetti al amatriciana for dinner. Originally, spaghetti al amatriciana comes from Roma, and so the chef that I've learned how to cook from is actually from northern Italy, and she thinks that less is more and healthier is better. And I would like to add, along with that, perhaps also improvisation is a great skill to have when you're cooking. So anyways, as you can see, I have the water boiling for the pasta, as well as what I did first was I put in rock salt. You'll find that in California or America, wherever, wherever you may live. Let me go ahead and point out the ingredients first. I'll write it out in the sidebar too, so that you can figure out <laughs> what I'm talking about. All right, for starters, how about some spaghetti? It's always good to have spaghetti. is what we'll be using, cooking in the big pan here. Also, this rock salt that I mentioned earlier. We have your choice. Use either two or two black or green olives. These are fresh green olives, and they're soaking in their olive oil juice right now. We also need a splash of olive oil, and I put some sage in already. I'm going to put the uh, pancetta. In America, you'll be using, see, this is what I use, pancetta. It's perfect, ideal for a matriciana, which is what I'll be using. You'll be using bacon, bacon in California and America. I went ahead and I uh, grated the Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese. Now, please note, there are f very strict food laws in Italy. However, there are no laws whatsoever about driving, so you can drive like a bat out of hell while you're over here. It's okay. They won't ticket you. All right, to continue on with our uh, the rest of our ingredients, we also need some tomato sauce. We'll be using that. And the spices today, we'll be using salt. We'll also be using the red pepper flakes and the dried um, garlic flakes. Or, if you prefer, you could use this, which has both. Uh, I think that's pretty much everything on my list, and I will go ahead and write those in the sidebar there. I think that's everything. Okay, now what I'll proceed to do is I'm going to turn on, hopefully the proper heat. That always works. Nope, that's the wrong one. Um, the medium flame, you can heat up the olive oil, E-V-O-O, -O, as Rachel Ray would call it, along with the sage is already in there. I would also put in some salt, a splash of salt. My instructor also said, not too much, not too much. So she doesn't measure anything. It's always, everything's just not too much. So I put a pinch of salt in, and then I put the, uh, uh, I can do this simultaneously, let me see, put the, uh, pancetta in, and that's actually, I would uh, use about that much normally, but because that's about the, that's a, probably enough for a, four people, so I would use half that for two people regularly. And I actually am going to heat up the bacon first, and then I'll put the tomato sauce in, along with the, <laughs> this confuses me, I want to call it in English, but it's in Italian. Aglio is actually the garlic flakes, and the pepperoncino is the red pepper flakes. So I'll go ahead and add those now. I'll put the tomato sauce in later, and I'll tell you what. I will show you the finished product when it's all finished. Right now I have to cook. So, arrivederci.